Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll make miso nabe, which is a Japanese miso hot pot. Here are the ingredients. First, some greens. I use some bok choy and some kind of lettuce. Then it's cabbage, different kinds of cabbage. We also love lotus root and carrots. Tofu is great for hot pot. Then I like to add all kinds of mushrooms, shiitake, king oyster, and needle mushroom. The next very personal. We also like add some sweet potato and broccoli, and some bean sprouts if it's available. So basically, whatever veggies you like. These ingredients are for soup base. Some kombu and bonito flakes for umami taste. These are fundamental ingredients for Japanese style broth. Dry shiitake has much stronger flavor than fresh ones, so they are perfect for soup. Onion, green onion, and garlic gives the soup more fresh flavor. Then it's sake, mirin, soy sauce, and of course miso. I choose this kind of miso. It can taste barley, which gives the miso more complex flavor and it's sweeter than normal miso. You can see some barley pieces inside. This is my favorite kind of miso. Bonito flakes has very nice smoked flavor and super umami taste. If you don't have it, you can use this kind of bottle dashi I mentioned before. I always use it to make udon. If you don't have this, it's fine too. Miso and the kombu should be good enough. Gently clean the kombu surface a little bit, just to get rid of some dust. You don't need to get rid of all this white stuff. This white stuff is something like MSG. It gives the soup very umami flavor. Let's chop our veggies. Slice tofu into pieces. Tofu is silky and it can soak the soup flavor. It's super great for hot pot. Slice lotus root into thin slices. Then it can be cooked faster. Put it into water. Slice sweet potato into thicker slices. So every bite can be sweet, even when cooked into salty soup. Cut broccoli into small chunks. Slice some carrots. This carrot is super sweet. <laughs> I can't control myself to eat it while I'm chopping it. Stop eating now. <laughs> Chop two kinds of cabbage into big pieces. Break this leafy veggie into smaller pieces too. Make a cross pattern on the mushroom head. Make it look more pretty. Chop king oyster mushroom into strips. Slice some green onion button like this. Chop the top part into rings. Slice onion into thin slices. Normally, people use beef or chicken for this kind of hot pot. Due to my husband's strict diet, I will use salmon today. Get rid of this dark part on the back since it can be fishy. Slice salmon into two to three millimeter thin slices. Be careful when you slice fish like this. Next, let's make some dashi soup. Take two cups of water. Add in kombu and bonito flakes. Use medium or medium low heat. Cook until you can see some small bubbles, but it's not boiling. Keep this state for about 10 minutes, then remove it from heat for later use. Heat up a small pan, add in some oil. When the oil is hot, add in the green onion bottom. Cook until the surface gets golden brown. Cooked green onion is sweet with nice char flavor. It tastes very good. Take a pot. Normally, 
People serve this kind of hot pot with a nice ceramic pot and a gas burner. Today, I will use an electric skillet. It won't look as fancy, but it's convenient. Take out kombu in the dashi soup we just made. Then filter the soup into the pot. Gently press the bonito flakes to get last drop of the goodies. Then add in the dry shiitake. Or you can cook it with the bonito flakes and the kombu. Remember to put them back in soup though. The flavor can last a pretty long time. Bring it to boil then add in miso. Use a filter to help dissolve the miso. For these beans and barley particles, you can get rid of them if you want clear and beautiful soup. I like to keep them for more flavor. Add in mealy, soy sauce, sake, and mix well. Then add in the onion strips for more flavor. Then put some of the veggies in the pot. Organize them to make them look pretty. It's not too much soup, because the veggie can taste a lot of water too. Serve with the pot and the rest of the veggies. I like to add some noodle later. Oops, I forgot to add garlic into my soup. Not too late now. <laughs> Enjoy your hot pot with your family and friends. You can add some water when the soup level gets too low. We are going to enjoy our food. This is today's video. Please hit subscribe and like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.